we are getting an American princess, people. Plus, the princes of my heart, BTS, are on Ellen. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed the long weekend wherever it was spent. It is so good to be back, especially today, because just a couple weeks ago, I told my coworkers that there is so much depressing stuff in the news lately, we need a friggin' royal wedding. And guess what? It is happening. That's right, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are officially engaged, and oh my gosh, they are so ridiculously adorable, my heart can't stand it. I feel like I know them now. This is such a big deal because for the first time in more than 60 years, a Hollywood star will become a princess. Meghan's royal wedding will happen in the spring and the couple just sat down for their first interview as an engaged couple. Now in between the very formal Q&A, they actually exchanged some really cute moments, like when they described how Harry popped the question while roasting a chicken. Just an amazing surprise. It was so sweet and, and natural and very romantic. He got on one knee. <laughs> Was it an instant yes from you? Yes. As a matter of fact, I could barely let you finish proposing. I was like, can I say yes now? She didn't even let me finish. She said, can I say yes, can I say yes now? And then, then there was hugs and I had the ring in my finger. And I was like, can I, can I give you the ring? She goes, oh yes, the ring. <laughs> so no, it was, um, it was a really nice moment. It was just the two of us. And um, I think I managed to catch, catch her by surprise as well. Before the interview, Harry and Meghan made their first appearance together as an officially engaged couple. It's also where we got the first look at her new rock. Which brings us to their second cutest moment, Harry's thoughtful design for the ring. Um, the ring is, is obviously yellow gold because that's um, her favorite. And the main stone itself um, I saw from Botswana. And the, uh, the little diamonds either side are from my mother's jewelry collection to make sure that she's with us on this, on this crazy journey together. Mm. Um, and It's beautiful and he designed yeah. it. It's incredible. Um, yeah. Yeah. And make sure it stays on that finger. Of course. <laughs> what do you think your mother would have thought of Megan or said about Megan? Oh, these would be thick as thieves. <laughs> Without question. I think. Such a sweet sentiment from Harry, but can we just say, you done good, kid? Good for you. Now, as for meeting the queen, not only is Megan's response so genuine, there was also one tell-all sign that she had this whole thing in the bag. This, have you met the queen? I have, yes. A couple of times. Yeah, what was sure, that like? A couple of times. Um, it's incredible. I think, you know, A, to be able to meet her through his lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother. All of those layers have been so important for me so that when I met her, I had such a deep understanding and, of course, incredible respect for being able to have that time with her. and. And we've had a really, she's, she's an incredible woman. And the, and the corgis took to you straight away. <laughs> That's true. For the last 33 years been barked at. This one walks in absolutely <laughs> Just nothing. laying on just my feet during tea, it was very sweet. Just... The corgis, gotta be a good sign. Now, this is the first time we've really seen them interact like this, and I gotta say, I am so smitten on these two. But here's a question for you guys. Where do you think Prince Harry and Meghan Markle land on John and Chrissy scale? Let me know, I haven't decided yet, okay? All right, you guys, switching gears now to our faves, BTS. The boys made their daytime debut on Ellen today, and the K-pop superstars proved once again they are some of the most impressive live performers on this planet with the special performance of Mic Drop. Guys, I'm still trying to be part of the group. They said I could be the eighth member, okay? I just keep like studying their dance moves. We'll get it down eventually. All right, the group also sat down with Ellen and their interpreter was on hand, but get this. Apparently some of the members learned English with the help of some friends. You actually are, I mean, you speak English, right? Yes. So pretty well. You taught yourself English? Yes, I, I taught myself English. How, how did you teach yourself English? Um, actually, my English teacher was a sitcom, Friends. Oh, you yes, watched Legend. Friends? Yes. So it, was it mainly just fra just phrases then, or you just learned everything? Um, I think, you know, back in the days, like when I was like 15, uh -huh. like 14, yeah. it was quite like a syndrome for all the Korean parents to make their kids watch the, the Friends. Really? Who knew? 
Anyone else think Jimin's hair is a couple inches from looking like the Rachel? Just me? Cool. All right, before we sign off, did you guys see this epic selfie courtesy of Tiffany Haddish? The Girls Trip star tweeted this pic with Barbara Friggin Streisand and revealed she schooled Barb's on rapper Cardi B, writing, just so y'all know, I taught my big sister about Cardi B today. Tiffany's budding friendship with Barbara could be more than just a fun time at a post-Thanksgiving hang. Could you see these two in a buddy comedy? I don't know. But for now, Haddish has a packed schedule with several movies on the way, including Night School with Kevin Hart. All right, speaking of Cardi B, could the Bodak Yellow Star earn her first Grammy nomination tomorrow? The nominations for the 60th annual Grammy Awards will be announced tomorrow morning, and I'll be live on ET's Twitter breaking it all down with my girl Sophie Shalacy, so be sure to catch us on Twitter live at 10 a.m. Pacific. Until then, like and share this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Congrats, Megan and Harry. <laughs>